Hey, good morning, guys. Wrangler here, and we are going to be delving into the latest arrest of Joey Surreal, aka Crackhead with a camera. And he's decided he wants to go play F around and find out in the post office, and then he wants to act like a total Karen. Uh, I cut out a lot of dead air, especially at the beginning, for the simple fact that he spent about the first eight minutes of the video literally walking from wherever he went to hide his car, I guess he learned his lesson, to the post office. And, dude, he was breathing like Glenn Serio. And as you'll see from the thumbnail, he might need to do some sit-ups. His belly's starting to look better than that of, you know, bigger than that of freaking Private Patriot. But you guys enjoy because I always enjoy when Joey winds up in cuffs. However, he needs a fashion counselor because that should be the real crime. He's like a 47-year-old crackhead frauditor who thinks it's okay to still dress like it's Tony Hawk in 1996. It's pitiful. Enjoy, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, like the post, unless the post office guy has ordered all my packages. Let's see, post seven. Let me check it out in a little bit. Sir, you cannot be recording in here. Just keep doing what you're doing. Damn, Joey, what's it like to have to lie every time you open your mouth? You didn't go in there for a stamp. You're not mailing a letter. We all know you can't read or write. Seriously, man. If you could read, and if you had not been so cracked out of your brain when you walked in that door, you would have found Poster 7. And you would know, just like we all know, that you are not allowed to record in that facility without the express written permission of the postmaster and or his or her representative, which means any employee in there. But you don't have that. You know you don't. So you're going to go in there and cause conflict. I can't wait to see you leave in bracelets. You know your, you know your rules and regulations here in this property? Yeah, my, it's my right to do this. Who are you? Don't cause, I don't want to cause a disturbance. Okay, you can get out. I'm not getting out. Okay. What's your name? My name is Jasmine Stafford. Jasmine's my right to do this. Federal building. It's a federal building. You know, you know, the, you know your poster seven? Listen to what I'm telling you. Just listen. All right, then I'm not listening to you either. Get back to work. Get back to work. You're rude, dude. You're rude. I'm recording getting me a stamp. I, I'm allowed to do this. I'm working on a story in your post office. And? You're causing a disturbance. Relax. Relax. The camera don't hurt people. Relax. There's cameras everywhere here. I'm not getting removed. Guarantee you I'm not getting removed. Your poster seven, your rules and regulations states that I can record here. All right? Along with the First Amendment. Oh, your camera don't hurt people? You mean like the victims you create every day? You can't even speak English, but yet you're going to decipher Poster 7 when you can't even read or write. I mean, come on, Joey. You need to get a better brand of crack rock, dude. This is pitiful. The woman's already told you to leave, and it is her right to tell you to leave. You don't have a right to record on just because it's federal property. I thought you would have learned that at the Social Security office or at the FBI. Why don't you keep that video up by some chance? I was just curious. Is it because that FBI agent owned your little punk butt? God, you're so pathetic, man. Exactly. Along with the First Amendment, freedom. If you don't like it, work in a private sector. Yeah, right. work in a private sector. You guys are going to give me views now just for acting like fools. Okay, folks, you see this Karen right here on the right who's about to be Karen? I want you to pay attention to what I tell her on the video and what she tells me as well because she's part and she's in the police report. Keep watching.
black shirt, yeah. black lace pop cap, necklace with a picture on it. So professional. What's up, paper face? Actually, That's crazy. Leave her alone. I'm not leaving her. Dead Lemus, who who interacted with who first, ma'am? I know. But okay then. Just this their is job. my right to fill my interactions with the government. In the it's their job. Okay, it's this is my job. But you're giving them all Is this your job because no actual employer would ever hire somebody with a tramp stamp tattooed on the front of his throat? Is it because no employer would hire an active current crackhead? Is it because you have the IQ of a freaking kumquat? Is that why no employer would hire you? I wouldn't even hire you to do Brooklyn fraud its job. I wouldn't even let you clean out porta potties. You're pathetic, Joey. Is that why you hang out with girl with a camera? You can't do any better. You think she could do better? No, I'm not. They're giving themselves. Me they're giving. Feel uncomfortable. Them. Okay, well then, don't don't interact with me. Well, just fucking leave and come. I'm not leaving nowhere. Attitude. No. Well, when the police come, I'm gonna tell them you're a dick. All right, I'm gonna tell them you're an ass. I'm not an ass. I'm trying to tell you. I didn't even interact with you. I didn't come here for you guys. Dude, get a life. No, you get a life. Get a, it looks like it looks like it's miserable. Wow. All right. Really? Don't mess with me, dude. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Going viral on TikTok and all the platforms. They're acting like fools. Yeah, so are you. What's wrong with recording, though? What's wrong with that? What's... Joey, the only thing viral is your load, as in your diseases that you got from that little present you got from your last cellmate. I guess he didn't see the target on the front of your throat, huh? What's wrong with that? You know, the... Rules. There's no rules. The rules is my freedom and my rights to film in government buildings and interact with anything with the government. I can record it. So get a life, girl. Karen. Let me see if you're going to refuse service on me. If you aren't filing a complaint, I just want a stamp. That's it. I'll be out your hair. People that are scared of cameras are suspicious. They're up to something. They're cheating on their spouse. They're doing something they're not supposed to at work. All right? You mean like 47-year-old crackheads with fake gold teeth that dresses like a damn Tony Hawk in 1996 that hide their car when they go and do a fraud it or go and pick a fight with an FBI agent because you're a moron? Is that is that what you mean by suspicious? What have you got on you? You got what you got on you? You're suspicious. You're suspicious because you act like you're cracked out of your mind right now and you're acting like a dumbass. That's suspicious. The fact that you won't even try to be a productive member of society. And second, they can refuse service to you. And nobody cares if you're going to file a complaint. I get news for you. The, post, the damn Postal Service has one of the strongest unions in this country. All right. You ain't going to do anything about it. No union is going to fire or discipline or allow to be disciplined. A postal worker over a loser like you, Joey. See, right now you guys are acting suspicious. Not leaving. I'm waiting for the police so they can educate y'all on public photography. Look how professional this is. Look how she serves the public, dude. With a paper in her face. What are you ashamed of? I'm ashamed of you. Yeah, of course, bro. You should be ashamed of my camera. Okay, here they come, folks. They showed up. I'm telling you, maybe I should say in a matter of two minutes after the supervisor made the call. Like, I'm pretty sure most of you in the past or has called the cops when you need them and need them there right away. Have they ever showed up that quick for you? They, like, bum-rushed in, like, about... Okay, a couple of things. Maybe one of the reasons they can't get the police when they need them because the police are having to do with you. And the reason that they showed up is because you are a known felon crackhead. You are known for going out and acting erratic and putting it all over YouTube. You act like the cops don't know who you are. You are dangerous, Joey. You are. All right. They know you're dangerous. 
Mm-mm-mm. It's so sad. Get help. Get help, Joey. It's it's not a joke anymore. You you need help. And if your little if girl with a camera won't get you help, then she's enabling you. But you need help, sir. Do better. I was robbing a bank or something, to be honest. Thank you. How you doing? Nothing's going on. You guys rush over here. I'm just taking it, getting a stamp. I'm recording and they're having a meltdown. That's it. You're getting a stamp? That's it. What do you mean for what? What's, they called you guys for recording in public. What's your name and badge number? Officer Collins. 408. What's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? You know this This is a federal building? Right. Oh, you know I'm allowed to film here, right? In Nobody said you're not to film. Oh, I'm just letting you know. You guys are rushing and intimidating me. It's not going to happen. We're not intimidating you. It looks like it. I'm not going outside. I'm not going outside. Tell them what's up. I want my stamp. Huh? First of all, if you're intimidated by them merely <clears throat> standing there, you're a bigger bitch than I thought you were, Joey. And I cannot tell you how wow what an achievement that would be because i didn't think that you could be any more of a bitch but you are and second you're not allowed to be in there filming it says so on the same rules you keep quoting so it, either either poster seven is in effect or it's not you frauditors need to make up your mind you don't just get to pick the first half of that rule that says you can do this but you need this to do it you don't ever seem to show that in your videos weird and second, the post workers don't work for those cops. Those cops can't make them do anything to appease you. And if you really needed a stamp, Joey, you would have bought one when you went in the door for the simple fact that you passed by stamp dispensing machines as you literally walked in the door. So you literally went in there looking for a conflict and you got it. And you're leaving in cuffs because you're refusing to leave. And yes, if a police officer gives you an order, you're required to, you're obligated to follow it. And not by more, yes, morally you are, but you're also legally required. Because unless that officer tells you to go jump off a bridge or tells you to do something that will cause you to be unalived, harmed, or cause you to commit a felony, you are required to obey that lawful directive, that lawful order, whatever you want to call it. Because if you don't, guess what? That becomes a dis a resisting, obstruction, possibly disorderly conduct. And since you won't leave the property you've been told to leave, that's trespassing. Joey, you're a moron. Get off the pipe. <laughs> Are you serious? Nah, did I commit a crime? I have an ID. I just want to identify yourself. I have an ID. Okay, let me see your ID. Let me see your ID. Let me see your ID. I don't got to identify nothing. Listen, I come with no ill will. I'm not giving you ID. I don't care what you do. If you want to take me in right now, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. You want to do it? Yes. You're going to arrest for a seating. Do not run. Okay, folks, real quick, I just want to point something out that you might have missed here. Now, you see right now, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. You want to do it? Yes. Okay. You're going to arrest for a seating. Do not run. For a seating. Okay, folks, there you have it. All right, guys, that's that. Joey got arrested. He got charges again. He's going to be prosecuted. They're getting tired of their crap. And that's the way it's getting with all frauditors. So all you rookie frauditors, like you, uh, private patriot, you might want to think about another type of YouTube career choice. Just saying, frauditing is not going to pay off for you. And case law is starting to come around to represent that fact. And Joey Surreal, if you want case law about reporting on federal property, I got some for you. How about the United States versus Cordoba? Guilty times two. Y'all have a good one. It's, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Have a good one.